issues, but I'd like to see more depth in like the edge. You can see my cursor, right? Uh, no. Oh, you can't. Okay. Um, the, the foot that's in the foreground and the shadows that are on what I see is the right side of my screen. I just like to see a little bit more detail in um, that foot in the in the stocking. I just think it'd be a little bit more effective. I think this is a great shot. So you want to you want to review it again or or um, not review it again? No. Okay. No. You don't want to review it again. Okay, image number two. American Patriot. The first title of the first one was Afternoon. Sorry, this this the title of this one is American Patriot. Right. Okay. The the titles to me don't don't matter so much. It's just the visual. Okay. Um, impact. Okay. I think it's a great shot about what's going on right now. Great commentary. Great shot. I've seen all of them, so I've already already have in my mind which. Um, which images I'll be giving awards to. Well, let's, yeah, but please comment on all of them if you could. So I will. <laughs> okay. um, I think the, the look on this man's face, he's staring right in the camera. And I think whoever the photographer is really caught um, a slice of history as well as uh, the pathos of what's going on right now. I love the contrast the depth of the lights and the darks. The composition is beautiful, especially because it's right and left. And it, um, even though often we always hear, don't cut the composition right in half, I think for this, it works because we've got two contrasting um, images. We have the flag and then we have the man's face just looking at us. So it's, uh, it creates the tension. And the fact that it's a dark door and a light um, background, I just think it has, it's powerful. Um, but I you think I'll move on. Review this one again? But no. Uh, you want to review, see it again, because you, you're going to see, you're going to review all the ones that you like. Is this a thumbs up or thumbs down kind of? Okay, you know, I'd, like to see, I'd like to see this one again. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's a, yeah, okay. Let me make sure. Okay, I'll make a note of that. Next. There you go. Uh, we, we do have to say the titles. Arch Falls Roaring. That's what we do. So anyway. Okay. Great shot. Um, love the way you've caught the, the rush of the water. I think it would be more effective, though, if it was not cut so sharply just above midline. You want to review it again or not review it again? Um, no, I don't want to review this one again. Okay. The next one, authority. I think the subject matter of this is very interesting, but having the man with the big tummy right in the foreground, to me, distracts from what's going on with the other group of people, even though he strikes a pose and he's, he has that authoritative um, stance. I'm left waiting for more. And the, I'd like to see more depth of darkness in his body and the bodies behind him. So review or not review later? No. I don't think okay. I want to review this one later. Okay, no. got it. Okay, next one is, title is Casa Grande, Big Bend National Park. Great shot and make a great postcard. Um, you've got a lot of action in the sky and the stability of the rock. I think it's a beautiful shot, but this is a shot, this type of shot is something that I've seen a lot. And I think it's hard to redo what some of the master photographers have done in the past. 
So review or not review? So, no, I don't want to review this one again. Got it. Next one, the title is Cathedral of Barcelona. It's a powerful, extremely well done image um, with a lot of the detail. The focus is the ceiling itself rather than the, the altar towards the center. I think this was well done as far as the contrast, the lights and the darks and the composition. A lot of times the composition doesn't work if it's too, too um, centrally focused, if it's too symmetrical. But I think this one works. I'd like to see this one again. Yeah, thanks. Next one, Cold Fire. This is one where I think is very, very effective. But, and I'm just hoping that the, the original has more darks in the, in the center of it, in the, in the details. So the contrast, the shape, the, the composition, I think is extremely well done. So I'd like to see this one again. Okay. Got it. Delhi doorway. <clears throat> yeah, this, I think this one with the right and the left works well, even though it's divided. And I think whoever took this got a great glimpse into humanity. It's too small on my, on my computer. Um, but I think it's a, I think it's just a great shot. You've captured their faces with so much expression and I like the the darkness of the interior even though I think some people would say well it's too dark I think the fact that it is so dark says so much about this um this family and this cultural experience and I like the the details in the the stone that surround the doorways I just lost my screen let me get back it's okay okay there we go yeah I'd like to see this one again Okay, great. Got it. Uh, everyone who knows us knows. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I think this one is extremely well done. The composition, the, the humanity of the two young girls. Some people might call them women, but I think of them as young girls. And the, the quality that you've achieved in the faces, I think is exceptional. Whether you did that with a filter or <laughs> what tool you used other than your camera, I think it's a beautiful shot. And uh, you caught the back of the kimono, which of course you probably all know that the back of the kimono is the most important part of a kimono. So I would like to see that one again. Okay. Hands of resilience. I think this is a nice shot. Um, you captured the essence of a young girl learning the piano. She looks hesitant. So you can tell that she's, um, she's new at this and you've caught that um, delicate gentleness of a young girl. And you've got nice, it's a nice composition, a nice motion of her hands and then the keys running toward the back and the, the nice shades and subtle shades of gray behind her back and then the darkness. So I think this is, a well done shot in many ways, but I think that, um, I don't think I need to review this one again. Okay. Manhole. I, I like the tension between the two people. I like the texture, what you've achieved, as well as the, the tonalities of the lights to the darks and the composition of the young boy on the right and then you've got the diagonal of the light that comes in 
and just the fact that the fellow is looking at you and smiling, I think it's a great human interest shot. So I would like to review this one again. Okay. Outdoor barbering. Oh, outdoor barbering. Okay. I didn't see that before. Great, interesting shot. And I like the fact that you've got them reflected in the mirror and it's, it's reminds me of fried green tomatoes. <laughs> it's, um, I wish y'all weren't muted. So maybe I could hear some laughter, but I see some smiles. I, I love the shot. It's um, great composition great human interest and you look closely and you can see the looks on their faces and nice tonality with um especially to the right where she's the hairdressers contrasted with the darkness of the background and just how you've composed it with the this barrier in the front i think that's nicely done um but I, I don't think I need to see this one again. Okay. Next is Pac-Man on the Roof. <laughs> a great title for this. Yeah, that's a nice composition. Um, and you've got some nice tonalities, but from the way it's showing to me, I'd like to see dark, darker, um, I wish you could answer me and we could talk about it, but I'd like to see more dark areas in this because I think it would sp speak better to uh, the Pac-Man eating up something and it goes into the void. This is a nice shot. Um, so yes, I'd like to see this one again. All right. Pensive at three. I like this shot. It 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 um it looks like the eyes have been enhanced quite a bit and then the rest of the face softened. And that to me that um that use of enhancement is a little bit too much. I mean the eyes are absolutely gorgeous and I can see why someone would want to really bring out the eyes and soften the rest of the face. But I think it, 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 to me, it's just too much. It's like those, those paintings of Keen that we used to see, if anybody's old enough, a few of you are old enough, like Don, um, <laughs> for contemporaries. But I mean, it's a beautiful shot. Um, you know, you've got good composition, good lights and darks, and nights, um, definitely, human interest and it's a beautiful shot. Okay, I'd like to see that one again. Okay. Uh, Porta Quelli Dor San Germain, Puerto Rico. Okay. Interesting place, nice clear shot. Um, nice darks and lights, nice composition. But I'm looking for something that, something other than just a a nice shot of a doorway. Um, I want to see some one element in there that just really draws me in, and I'm not I'm not finding it. I mean, it's it's beautiful, like it is, but I want to see something that might be. It's like the whole image would be a teaser for me to find something. Um, Something that makes it poetry and not just a, um, a description. I want to see something that really speaks to my soul. So, but it's a, but it's a beautiful shot. It's a um, nice and clean and I'm sure it would print extremely well. So I don't think I need to see that one again. Okay. Uh, Red Fort Delhi. I feel similarly about this one. 
Um, it's a beautiful shot. I would like to see a little more detail in the light area, the light at the end of this tunnel. I'd like to see a little more um, detail in, in that lightness. You've got a lot of really nice darks and medium gray areas and it's, you know, it's a beautiful composition, but I, I still want to see something that, because um, we see these shots and it's a beautiful place, it's a beautiful place, but I still want to see something that just really draws me in. You know, it could be, if this is printed in a large format, then the people that are just to the left, the dark images, they may, be, they may have a human interest that I am drawn in to see. It looks like they have a little child. And, you know, that might be the interest. So when you're taking an image like this, taking a, a photograph of a big expanse, it's, I mean, it, it draws you in. It makes you want to capture the whole mood. But ha if, if those people there are, you blow it up. <laughs> But uh, let me see this one again. It's it's a nice shot. Okay, got it. Uh, next one is Snow White. Yeah, nice, beautiful composition with the lights and the darks, and it just carries you around from the top down to the bottom to greet this gentleman. It looks like he's cleaning, maybe. Um, you've got a nice composition, nice darks and lights. And I think a human interest of whatever he's doing. I'd like to see this one again. Okay. And steam locomotive tree on Georgia. Um, Don, what are you shaking your head for? <laughs> I'm looking at you all, you know. Um, okay, that's a. Uh, that's a really nice shot and with the, all the nuances of the clouds and meeting the sky. And you don't know whether those are clouds or whether that's more smoke. Um, and you've got good lights and darks and a good composition. That's, um, I, I like that shot a lot. I wanna see that one again, please. Okay, that does monochrome, and then next we'll go to color, and then we'll I'll sort them out based on what you said for both of those categories, and we'll take a break during that time. Okay, so we're okay. gonna go we're gonna directly into color, and then we'll, you'll be able to see all the ones you you wanted to see again and again, both categories. Okay, so let me go ahead and go to the color one. Uh, that's the next one. Uh, let's see here. We, we call that color print, quote unquote. All right, I'll go back to the first one. That's all of them on that one. So I'll start with this one. There you go. Go ahead and make comments like you did before. Okay, first, these are all fantastic. I'm blown away. They really are beautiful. This is a this is tough <laughs> to decide. Okay. Beautiful, delicate. Beautiful, delicate shot. This um I love the way you've created the softness around the bird. It's just, it's a beautiful composition, the way you have the whites coming into the bird. Um, I don't think it could be improved. And I'm glad that you did not over, um, over enhance it. You may have a little bit, and maybe lightened up a few areas in here, but it's, I think it's a beautiful shot. You want to just see it again? Like, just like it is. Yeah, I'll see it again, please. Okay. Uh, the first one was called A Quiet Place to Groom. That was the title of the first one. The title of this one is After the Rain. Okay. Beautiful shot. I mean, I love the way you've captured the, uh, the, the raindrops on it. It's just... It's beautiful. I don't, the only thing, I, and I don't know if my... You know, it's my monitor, but I'd like 
to see, I mean, although I don't like too much enhancing because it's like it's just overdone these days. Um, I'd like to see more depth in the colors, but that but that could easily be just because of the image going through three or four or five different um, layers of technology. So I'd like to see this one again. Okay. Next one is after the storm Blue Ridge Parkway. Beautiful shot. We've all been here. Yeah, I mean, this is a shot that a lot of people have taken. Um, and so nice that you were able to capture the the rain coming in and the little wisp of cloud coming in about center left. A nice shot, very well done with all the nuances of color. And also I'm glad that you did not over enhance this one either. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful shot, but I don't think I need to see this one again. All right. Audubon pose. Yeah, very dramatic. Just um, amazing design and composition. And I like the way you, you probably dropped out the, the background but I like the way that you use the white. I think that's very effective instead of using black or blue or some other color. I think that's extremely effective. And the, the way you kept in the, the limbs, it's just a, a very effective with the lights and the darks. I'd like to see this one again, please. All right. Bubble plots. Yeah, this is one that really, I think this one really sings, even though it does not have, like I talked about in another image, the, the darkness in the black lines and even the, the cobblestones, I think really make this one sing. And just the subtle, the subtle lighting where the sun's hitting it. I think this is very effective. I'd like to see this one again. All right. Cayman sunset. Beautiful. I've been there. <laughs> this is great shot to capture that right in the middle of the sun. I think you've caught, it's a great composition. You've got the colors and the lights and the darks and the, the shadings of the different colors, I think is extremely well done. And you've, you've caught it. I'd like to see this one again, please. Okay. Cloudland Canyon. It's a beautiful shot. It's, um, We've probably all been there. Um, it's a beautiful shot, but I've, it's one of these shots that I've seen it. I've seen it so often that, um, and I think this kind of image has, has been out there so often that I wanna see something else that just makes it different from what I've seen. And if, if you were the first person who had ever captured this image, it'd be different, but it's sort of like if I've seen, if I've seen it so often, then it doesn't have that same impact that it would. And I mean, the composition is beautiful, the colors, you know, the, it looks a little bit pale on my screen. Um, a beautiful shot, but I, I don't think I need to see this one again. Right. Sorry. Dome at dusk. I haven't seen this before. <laughs> and I think that's extremely effective. The lighting and capturing just those elements that bring the eye down to that, um, 
that ledge that's bright golden. I think that's a beautiful uh, composition and the colors I think are very effective. And you've got the lights and the darks balanced and just that subtle, subtle um, color at dusk. And I'm glad that that's not over enhanced either. I think that's a great shot. Um, I'd like to see that one again, please. Okay. Dragonfly emergence. That's amazing to capture that. Great shot. I'm looking at it and it looks like the dragonfly is in, is in focus, but that other guy isn't. I don't know whether he's being eaten or <laughs> who's eating whom, but I'm, I'm straining to see if that other fellow is in focus. Other than that, I think this is a great composition great blend of colors, um, very well done. But I, I don't think I need to see this one again, even though I think it's oh, a fantastic it's shot. It's not my photo, but I believe the dragonfly has just emerged from that nymph. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, no comments, I bet, appreciate your effort. Feeding time is the next one. Thanks, Daryl, nevertheless. Yeah, thanks, Daryl. Um, but even if it was just a cocoon, I want to see, I want to see it all in focus for that one. Sometimes it doesn't need to be in focus, but for that one, I, I strain to see it. Um, this one is all in focus and that's amazing to catch that, um, feeding time or maybe they're making love. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's part of their courtship ritual, but what a beautiful shot and just that simple, um, limb with the two birds on it. And then the softness, this is where I like that out of focus where the, you know that those are um, green growing things. This is very effective. I'd like to see this one again. Okay. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> Great title. Um, beautiful shot. Great shot. And I mean, great composition, the balance of the, the little bug going toward the center of the flower. It's just a great balance of a heavy um, red or a, a deep red, I would say, but, and then that little accent of the, the bug and the greenness of it. I think that's well done. Um, I'd like to see that one again too, please. Okay. Heavenly Abode. Interesting shot. I love the way the, the clouds swirl around the nest. I guess that's a nest. Um, very effective shot, even though it's not full of a whole bunch of color. I think it's very effective. And I think what makes it work is the swirling of the clouds. Otherwise, I think it would just be too static, especially with the, the symmetricalness of um, the post. But I think, it, I think it works quite well, the, the way you did the composition and the swirling and the colors, it's sharp, where it needs to be sharp. I think that's really nice. I'd like to see that one again too, please. Okay. Hey, you. <laughs> Great shot. All these are just fantastic shots. This is beautiful. Um, yeah, great composition. That red just jutting right into the center of it is very effective. And then the bird really captures your eye. And that bird, whether it's a he or a she, is just so um, clear. I'd love to see this one blown up as well. And that other little bee, I guess, um, getting nectar, just a great balance between those two little creatures. It's a, it's not human interest, but it's, it's, um, little creature interest. And I like the way the, the, the background is faded out and there's a nice Christmas. And even the way you have the, um, the left side of it is slightly blurred 
I like that. Just that softness of bringing you towards the, the interest of the bird and balancing it. Nice shot. I'd like to see this one again too, please. Okay. I love you, mom. I love you too, honey. Yes. Um, <laughs> beautiful shot. How did you find this? This is just terrific. Um, another animal interest. I love it. And I love the softness of your focus, not only of the animals, but the rest, of the, particularly the foreground. Great composition, the softness around the edges, the darkening around the edges, I think is effective. And the colors balance one another. I'm wondering if you enhance those colors but even if you do, I think it's, I think it's a great choice. I'd like to see this one again too, please. Okay. <clears throat> Into the spiral loop. Nice shot. Um, both the color, the composition, and the, the contrast between the light and the darks, even in the color. But there's still, I'm still wanting something something else. I mean, it, it's very sculptural. I'm still, I mean, this is a fantastic shot, but compared to some of the other ones, I'm still looking for, I'm, if I want to be lost, this is where I would go. <laughs> so it's, it says the abyss to me. Um, so I think it's a great shot, but I don't think I want to see this one again or review it again for okay. this, for this um, contest. Um, Rapids and Rocks, Watson Millbridge. Oh, very, very effective, very powerful. Um, I love the composition of these rocks, so clear, and then the rapids coming from behind it and grabbing it. Um, I'm an old kayaker, so pardon me if I can relate the, to this one particularly. Um, love the colors, the composition, the nuances of the darker tones and the lighter tones. Um, I'd like to see this one again, please. All right. Rooftops at sunset. Very interesting, very graphic. Um, well done. I mean, I don't know what you started with, but um, however you worked with this, I think it's very effective. I love the way you did the colors and the darks. I think that's very, very effective. The you you all the whole all the colors of the rainbow and it works. Beautiful shot. Um, I'd like to see that one again, please. Okay, uh, standing guard. Yeah, I love the way this bird almost looks concave. It's just a an enigmatic shot. And the. The tail of the bird just repeats the pattern of the walkway, that triangle, and it there's a haunting quality about this that I really like. And it was beautiful. I love the colors, the composition, you know, that vanishing point, and then the bird repeats that. It's very, very effective. I'd like to see this one again too, please. All right. Summer jump. Oh, great. You really caught it. <laughs> All four of them. That's great. It makes me wonder if you had, if there were other ones, but you, but you cut them off. Um, very, very effective. This is just fantastic. Uh, you know, the, the colors of their suits, I mean, you caught it just right there. You probably took a whole series of these, but um, 
keep doing this because <laughs> you've you've got great frogs right there. Um, beautiful shot. I'd like to see this one again too, please. All right. Uh, waiting. Wonderful, wonderful shot. I love the grays and the look on her face. You really, you really caught that. And I love the way you've composed it, or even if you found it, just a great composition of her, her arm jutting out to the left and then her shawl kind of mimicking that. And then the, the image, the graffiti that's on the wall mimics the whole thing. It's, and then you've got the accent of the, the wall that's crumbling and she's she's older she's not ancient but she's 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 seen a little bit of crumbling and this says so much in the patterns that are on her her gray clothing it's just beautiful and the the shimmer of the wall whether that's white the white almost makes it shimmer and like the shimmer on her face, there's a soft glow and they, they balance one another so beautifully. Um, great colors, great composition. Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> I'd like to see this one again too, please. Okay, uh, that's the first two. So we're gonna have uh, Kathleen pick her fabs. I, well, I don't uh, envy her. And so, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and send everybody to the waiting room and then I'll, uh, let me go ahead and get that going here. Let's see. I'm going to stop sharing. No more. We'll go back. We'll go uh, over the winners for the two categories real quick here. So let me do that. And let me go first to mono. Well, let's just start. We'll start with color prints if you have it up. Okay. So let's start with honorable mention. Honorable mention goes to uh, honorable mention is going to go to, uh, got it written down here. There we go. Cayman Sunset by Steve Director. Steve, what, make a comment. Well, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> a sunset off of Seven Mile, Seven Mile Beach in Grand Cayman. Uh, this was taken a few years ago when uh, we used to, we go there every year. Uh, and there used to be a lot more sunsets than there are now. And, um, and it used to be better clouds and that, that quote pirate ship was a little more prevalent. So uh, it, it, it was a great view as we were drinking all wine sitting on our paddle when this happened. Steve, I can't see you, why not? Well, the reason you haven't seen me is because I didn't put my camera on. Well, <laughs> come on. Anyway, thank you. Ah, there's Steve. Hello, Steve. Good. Mike, if you're talking, your can't, mic's not not be on. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, better. Yeah, I ran out of gas. But anyway, uh, anyway, this shot is is a, one of a series of shots, and this is not the first one I picked because I, I the, the two boys that were smaller are way down below. They didn't jump at the same time as these other four, whereas the one that I took that you've seen before in the past, they, they balanced in line with these four. This is a different jump, so but the other two guys are way down here. So I didn't, but I thought, wait a minute, these four look pretty darn good, so I picked four out. Oh, okay. Yeah, this so, is yours. Yeah, as in terms of number of frames, uh, they jumped about eight times. So you're talking about well over 100 frames. Wow. That was in, that was in Indonesia. And they had a great time doing it. And there's a little ledge there they jumped from. This is a man made waterfall. Where is it? Indonesia. 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 Oh. Yeah. So, anyway, that's the story in that. I, th it was one per 500th of a second. But I knew I wanted to catch them when they, before they began to fall so you, they'd be sharp. So right when they were like right above. The other two boys were way down below. They messed up. Or they had fun, that's for sure. Okay, number three. Number three goes to uh, 
this really incredible shot. Uh, third, uh, number two goes to this is the second place goes to feeding time, feeding time, and that is by Mr. Michael Amos. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very okay. much. Um, this was taken in my backyard uh, when coronavirus hit and you couldn't get out. I had to come up with another way to uh, get my shutter therapy in. So uh, I created like a little bird sanctuary out in the backyard and um, with different <clears throat> places where they could land and feed and whatnot. And this was one of the shots from probably late March, early April. It's a great catch, brilliant. I mean, that is just really great. That, yeah. that I don't is, know how you how you did that at one one hundred sixtieth of a second. Those birds with a six hundred millimeter lens. Gosh, I got to shoot a lot faster than that. But boy, you you got it. And it was actually on manual too. Yeah. So. I'd um, like to see Michael's face. Yeah. Hang on. Come yeah. on. You get to see mine. There you go. Okay. Um, an adult, that I was an adult feeding a, a fledgling, right? There you go. Uh, this is first oh. place and uh, go ahead. This is first place and this is my shot. Uh, I took this in Tanzania a couple years ago and these are gray herons, beautiful birds. And I was using a 300 millimeter Nikon 2.8 f-stop lens at 2.8er. I looked at my record. I did not have a tele, uh, did not have a, 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 a teleconverter on. So it was shot at 300 millimeters. Okay. Uh, who took this? Me, me. I don't uh, know who you are. Mike, Mike Schaefer. Oh, 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 That's great. Okay. Oh. No, I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, as for the background, you mentioned the back, background was just light and I didn't have to get rid of anything. It was just like a cloud, kind of an off cloudy white day. So I did lighten things, but, wow. uh, but it, it was closer than I thought. I shot at 300 millimeters. So this is blown up a little bit, but not that much. In the original, there's another bird to the right of it over here, but the bird's boring looking. So I really focused on this. So I call it the Ottoman pose because it's so perfect and it's so sharp. Again, credit goes to that lens. The lens is phenomenal. So that's really what it is. Mike, uh, it, it, Mike did you desaturate it? It almost looks black and white, but are this, these are the actual colors. These are the actual colors. Yeah, if you look up gray heron uh, in Google, you'll see the similar colors. Yeah, yeah and, and I didn't push the colors. I don't like to push colors much like, as you got folks know. But it, it, it fortunately, it was just a gray kind of like white, you know, those gray white clouds you get in the background because I was looking up and there was no, this flat, which worked well in this case. So um, this is one of those shots I really didn't you think I even had until I started looking around. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much. Appreciate uh, Mike, I like this one even more than that eagle one that you got a ribbon for last time. You know, it's sharper. <laughs> and as it for is. sharpness and sharpness, I only did sharpness increase by 10%. I didn't want to over sharpen it. Because I remember when I got the riot act by Jim when I over sharpened the picture last year, I learned my lesson. So thanks, Jim. <laughs> so anyway, that's that's the story on that one. Two gray herons. Okay, thank you, <laughs> Michael Amos these trains in the fall and in the spring. I don't know if they run in spring or not, but they'll start in Chattanooga and go to Somerville and then turn back around. So uh, they'll catch them coming out of a tunnel in Chattanooga, but I could never find that tunnel because uh, of course it's dark and you have to walk through somebody's neighborhood in the dark. And that's not something I do. <laughs> but, uh, so then it comes past the National Cemetery and uh, Tryon and uh, to all the little small towns in North Georgia. And then it goes to Somerville and it turns back around. And this is as it was coming across the trestle and uh, it's, it's got two locomotives on it. And the club had an outing a few years ago led by Don Stevens to photograph that in, those engines and that train at a different point. Yeah. But they didn't run this, this, they haven't been running this spring because of the fires. So. Okay. Third place goes to. Delhi Doorway by Mark McElhaney. Um, well, I, you know, I haven't picked up a camera in about six months. And, I've, and as some of you know, I've been working on a photo book. And so I've gone back into the archives trying to find stuff that I've missed over the years. And um, in fact, all my photographs to, tonight are those. And, um, you know, every once in a while you find one. And I was kind of excited about this once I did it because I, 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 you know, I, I did not notice the composition here, I think, the first time around, and I was, so 
Mexico. Anyway, this is um, from Delhi, India. The, yeah, the dark, the darkness, uh, uh, the dark background, that mystery in the background really is a key element that you did a good job on the shadows. Well, yeah. also, she is just so perfectly posed. Yeah, yeah. The, guy, the guy in the background, that smile really makes a big difference, too. Yeah. The way it works. Great shot. Yeah. Uh, great, great, name, great name, too. Just thought I'd mention that. What, I'm proud of you for not naming it like door number one or something. Well, you know, there is there is a Delhi doorway number two. I think it's on the digital. So sorry. <laughs> okay, number Mark, you're still here. Uh, goes to Manhole by Mark McElhaney. Go ahead. Yeah, another one from the archives. I was, um, uh, I, I this was in uh, Bogota, Colombia, I believe. I was in a and I was in a a car, probably a cab, and uh, we were stopped at a light, and and we we I, we connected with each other. You know, he saw me with the camera, and so this was a shot. And the triangle here is wonderful. Uh, that is really a great shadow. You really got lucky there. That's great. Yeah. That really makes it very balanced and very appealing. Well, it's almost like, like he knew he had a very unusual job, and, and he just saw the humor in it himself. In a yeah, way. and then he let go of him after you left. I'm <laughs> and then first place goes to Miss Michelle Simmons for the elegant, oh-so-elegant shot, uh, Everyone Who Knows Us Knows. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. This was taken in Tokyo at a stoplight and they just looked so in love to me. But in reality, the one on the left is holding a phone and they're both looking at her phone. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Their complexions were that gorgeous. <laughs> wow. And as you usual, you took it on your phone, right? I did. I took this on an iPhone 10, or it may, it may have been an 11. Well, you use the rule of thirds here very nicely. You got them right off center in a nice little triangle space here. You use the, the negative space very well, not too much of it, just the right amount. So it's very elegant. The skin tones are beautiful. So good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyway, my pleasure. Gorgeous. Okay, now we're going to go to the digital. And so uh, let me go ahead and, and get that going here. Uh, let's see here. Digital, digital. Digital. The very first one, go back to this one, and okay, comments and what you want to see it again or not. Okay, well, that title, is... The title's a gift from mom. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can see the titles now, um, that they're bigger, so thank you. Oh, what a great shot, I mean, to capture the humanity of these two animals. Just amazing. Love the composition. You, you've got them right when they're communicating about whatever they're holding in their hands, I guess they're leaves, but the way they're um, embraced by the ropes and the, the logs overhead and the, it looks like in a sense, there's sort of an abstract fire between them, even though they're leaves, I think they're leaves, but the, the way you've got the lighting on the knees and the arm. It's just a beautiful shot. Yeah, I'd like to see this one again, please. Okay. A life at sea. Mm, that is definitely life at sea. That you've caught the forlorn look of being at sea for a long time. I've been at sea for a long time. So I, I recognize this look, um, not only in the eyes, but in the, the grimace. Great shot, just the, the whiteness of the, the background and the nuances in, in his, his clothing and his face. It's a beautiful shot. You've really caught the essence of him. I'd like to see this one again, please. All right, okay. Next is Bumblebee on Hosta Flower. On Hosta, okay. Hosta yeah. Flower, sorry. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful shot. And to capture the bumblebee right there. <clears throat> Great composition. I like that it's just slightly off center. And the, the background is a soft focus, which is nice. I'd like to see a little more, um, a little 
more crispness in the bumblebee and also in the the flower the the blossom that the bumblebee is on i'd like to see a little more um a little more clarity in in the flower and the blossoms and the stem itself but it's a beautiful shot um now i don't think i need to see this one again right thanks carnival dawn let's see carnival dawn i wonder is this an animation um it's a bit jarring <laughs> i think she's supposed to be jarring but it's um i think it's a real interesting shot and it's the contrast of her um in her attire <clears throat> i mean carnival is a contrast to our normal everyday life so you captured that um dichotomy beautifully um it is jarring to see her so she's garish but she's supposed to be because it's kind of all <laughs> um, it's a, a nice composition just slightly off slightly off center with a light in the very center is is an interesting composition um but i don't think i want to see this one for right. the final all right it's, it's um, a great great shot though caught uh, caught caught yeah um interesting i like the way you put the vignette around the edges that's nice and just the whole scene is interesting you've caught you've caught this character almost looking like a monkey as well but a just a very very interesting shot and it's you've got the darks and the lights and i even like the fact that the mirror is not reflecting anything it just reflects um nothingness and i think that says a lot about the subject matter and the the time so i'd like to see this one again all right colors of life interesting shot interesting shot um, i love all the plays of color in it in the darks and the lights the composition it just wraps around it's a very interesting shot and it looks to me like these have not been enhanced the colors have not been enhanced and i like that um i'd like to see this one again all right uh next is deadly gaze Ooh, you know this is this is so hard because these are all just fantastic shots and i've heard a few of you thank me no don't thank me thank yourselves because you this is a gift to me to see these beautiful images and i mean that sincerely um this is a beautiful shot and i I mean, you've got the eye, the beak, so sharp from my viewpoint. Um, and I like the way the, the wings and the back are soft because it gives it a, a shimmer and a, almost a satin-like glow. And the, the background is just another soft, um, there's a softness to it, especially on the left-hand side this just a beautiful compliment to it beautiful shot i'd like to see this one again okay delhi doorway number two. Oh yes beautiful shot and it's nice to see the what i imagine mother in the background it might be the aunt it might be the sister um oh, oh, what a great face you got out of that child just so so beautiful um and i like the 
the slight vignette on the edges, whether you added that or whether it was just there, that's really nice. Um, I'd like to see this one again, please. Right. Forklift. Oh, <laughs> a great title. <laughs> and what a great shot. So simple, so classic, so pure. That's just really exquisite. Um, and then again, here's, here's an example of an image cut right dead center horizontally, but it works. It's, um, it's not static. It's, it's almost like a pair of scissors cutting through, cutting through mustard, but it's not mustard. Beautiful shot. I'd like to see this one again. Okay. Girl with tree. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. And that bundle under her arm is almost like a rose. And you've, you really have established a great rapport with your subject. Just um, in a wonderful composition of her just leaning against that, that tree and the the nuance of the atmosphere, the, the, the culture in the background, just a great shot. And <clears throat> it's difficult to capture um, darker skin sometimes, but you've got a great balance between the bright white and the, the darkness of her skin and the darkness of the tree but you've kept those nuances in her dress and in her, her, her bundle under her arm. It's, it's a great shot. I'd like to see this one again too, please. I'll bet you can't do this. <laughs> I can try. <laughs> Maybe I am getting one of those. <laughs> I have to love, I love this shot. This is, and what's really nice is that You've got the red of its throat or whatever it's called. I think it has a specific name. Um, but you've got the background that complements that, that soft red that balances that throat so beautifully. And I like the, the just the, the slant of what it's on. I think this is a he. I think that's part of its threatening pose as well as part of a meeting ritual. Great shot. I'd like to see this one again. Great balance. It's over my head. <laughs> I love the title. Um, this must be in Germany or Austria, maybe. Um, great shot. Just so clean. Such great architectural shot just crisp and clean and um, just a beautiful. And I love the, the shades of, of gray that are in the window going up to the top. You've got all those subtleties in it with just a tiny bit of rose down at the bottom in that triangle. Nice, nice composition. Nice balance of tones. Um, I'd like to see this one again. Okay. Orchid veins. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Yeah. I mean, this is it's a perfect shot. I'd like to see more. Uh, I mean, maybe it's my screen, but I'd like to see more nuances inside the center of those two orchids. Just a little bit more crispness, if possible. I mean, the fact that the stem fades out, that's okay. And if the flowers that you see the back of, even if those are not in super sharp focus, um, I'd like to see it a little, just a little, a little more depth. But it's possible that it's just the, the monitor. So, you didn't add on that one, but beautiful color, beautiful composition. 
Great shot. I'd like to see it again too, please. Okay. Uh, pretty in pink. It is pretty. Um, and this too, I like the softness of the background, but that one that's right in the center, I'd like to see that a little crisper. On my screen, it just looks a little bit too soft, but it's, I mean, a beautiful idea, beautiful um, composition. It has, it sings, it, 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 it hums, it murmurs. But I want to hear um, that one flower in the middle. I want to hear that just really pop out. And it's just, maybe it's my monitor again, but a little bit soft. But keep doing this. This is beautiful. Okay. I'd like to see, I think I'll pass on seeing this one again. Um, so. Sunset on Ha Long Bay. Do you want to make an additional comment about the previous shot? I didn't mean to cut you off. Pardon me? Did you want, do you have more to say about the previous shot? And it, no, I think I said enough. I was not sure. Okay, sunset on how long bay? Um, beautiful shot. Nice and crisp where it needs to be. I mean, you've, you've got the balance of the boat with the sunset. And the, the way the sunset comes up over the water. Just a beautiful shot. Um, the composition of the the hill coming down to greet the boat and that makes the boat move a little bit toward the sunset. It creates a tension even though the sunset is not right behind the boat or closer to the boat. Because of the <clears throat> the height of that hill it brings it brings that whole composition together especially with the other boat in the background. So nice colors, nice composition, nice tonalities too. Um, I'd like to see this one again as well. All right. The bright web, the dark piece. <laughs> I think this is, this is beautifully done. I mean, to see that and then to capture it and then to really bring out that, that web is just, um, extraordinarily well done. So the composition, um, that dark that comes in from the left, balances the negative space of no, no web. And I like your, I like your, um, I like your title, The Bright Web, The Dark Piece. Beautiful. That's poetry in itself. And the, um, the gold with the, with the black, just nice, use of color, nice composition. So I'd like to see that one again, please. Right. The Taj and Morning Light. Oh, exhilarating. <laughs> this is hard to decide. Um, great composition, so clean and so pure. And that color is just so subtle and so gentle and delicate. In contrast to the um, to this structure, to this place of worship, and the the rail on the left, cutting through the the fog, is just so um, perfect. It just takes you right up into the into the structure. So it's beautiful composition, beautiful. Um, capturing of the color and really nice darks and lights. You know, you haven't let that building just fade into a, um, a gray blob. It's sharp in its um, delineation. So I'd like to see this one again too, please. All right. The storms we, or, uh, yeah. To storms, we or I have O A R for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. To storms, comma we or. Okay, got it. Thank you. Yeah, what a beautiful title. Very poetic, as well. Beautiful, beautiful shot. I like the way you've captured the the water and the rocks 
on the left. And then that subtle, I guess she's the maid of the mist. Um, and the right. I'd, part of me says I want to see the water wrap around the, the boat. But yet the contrast of that sharp plummet of the water and then the boat just out there alone, I think that is effective. So this is a, a very effective shot. Love the nuance of the green and the water, both on the left, upper high, and um, the lower right. And nice, nice shot. Um, I'd like to see that one again too, please. Okay. Water lily. Oh, that is just exquisite. That it's so it's so subtle, and you've really caught the the tranquility and the the delicacy of that flower. It's just so beautiful that subtleness. And again, here, I'm glad you didn't try to over enhance the colors. You know, you have the pinks. You may have popped them up a little bit, but you didn't do it too much. <laughs> and I like the contrast of the, um, those burgundies, those with the green, the light green in the background and the softness of the foreground in the background. Beautiful shot, um, both compositionally, the gradations of tonalities and the color balancing. So I'd like to see that again too, please. All right. When I grow up, I want to be a cardinal. <laughs> oh, this is a fun shot. I love the cardinal perched on top of the other, the other bird. That's sweet. And, you know, I like the softness of the background. The colors balance the, the bird and complement the bird quite well. It's, it's sharp, but I'm thinking it could be just a little sharper around the neck, but maybe it is. I just can't see that well enough. It's a beautiful shot. Um, I'd like to see this one again too, please. Okay, uh, Wild Ponies of Chinco. Thank you. <laughs> Chinco Teague. Thank you. <laughs> You used to go there for the summer. Yeah. Urban. Oh, t t this is great. The colors, the design, the, the composition, that, that vertical, just coming right to the two eyes. <clears throat> this is really, really nice. Um, and even the, the fact that she cut off the noses, I like that abstract quality of it. You don't have to have the, you don't have to have those noses. It just says so much those two eyes, and it's almost as though those two eyes are becoming one horse, or one. The, the communication between those two horses is beautiful, and they're wild. They're they're wild horses, um, and I love the 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 subtlety of the colors in their in their faces. Beautiful, beautiful shot. And I like the way you've you've cropped it or captured it where the white of the the horse on the right just sort of fades out. And then the whiteness on the left. That's a nice balance in the use of white and light and the balance of the white at the top and the manes and then between their two noses. I don't know how much um manipulation you did, but I think you've got a, a great shot. Oh. You. Anyway, here we go. Okay, uh, honorable mention is going to go to the wild horses of, say it, Kathleen. Chincoteague. Thank you. And that's Michael Amos again. Hey, that was uh, part of my wild horse tour last year, I think. I think I started in, I drove like 12 hours one day and stayed up in uh, the Chincoteague area. City, maybe, and spent a couple of days photographing the wild horses in Chincoteague and Assateague. And uh, this is one of the shots I got. Actually, there was a curb 
in front of their noses. Oh, curb. Oh, no kidding. Curb. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so that's, that's why it's been cropped off. I didn't crop it off intentionally. So, the, and, and yeah, I just like how they, they put their heads together. It's like their faces meld into one another down on the yeah. But um, I also have some in the marshes, the ones in acetate, but these guys were everywhere. Um, and uh, so a anyway. Cur like woof woof? No, a cur. This is a horse lover shot. Yeah. Okay, second, uh, third place rather. Third place goes a to curve. Forklift by Michelle Simmons. Thank you. Okay. You got another one. <laughs> Thank you again. I tell you what, this is the first time I ever tried like a real still life. I knew exactly what I wanted. And to all you still life photographers, God bless you. I don't know how people do that all the time. It was a lot of, a lot of shots. To, to yeah. But well, I didn't mention very... that, um, that I've, I've hired a lot of photographers to do advertising. I mean, that for, you know, for years, um, and it was all about setting up shots, and takes forever. <laughs> but this, this has balance. This is this is your fulcrum right there, perfect fulcrum, and you got a nice balance. So visually, it makes sense. That's why it's so nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. Michelle, Michelle, when are you going to do a workshop on iPhone photography? Yes, I, I am. I have decided tonight that I'm going to sell all of my equipment and buy an iPhone 11. <laughs> I mean, you do such wonderful work, you know. Thank you. I'll do a class whenever you want. Please, yeah. Um, second place goes to a gift from mom by Jen Cardinal. Oh, all right. She here? Okay. Where's Jean? I think she head for the hills. Heard the th thunderstorms. Anyway, I'll let her know and all that. First place, of course, goes to a royal hit for uh, the bright red, the dark piece. And I don't think Roy hits with us, though. But anyway, Wait, who's, who's is this? This is Roy hit. He usually runs the competitions, but I had to replace him, and now we all miss him, don't we? <laughs> yeah. I wish, he was, I wish he was here because I think he's shooting with the Nikon Z7, which he has, the new yeah. Nikon mirrorless. Because of the lens, the 24 to 70 Z lens. Yeah, it's a, it's a very different creative shot. So it's, it's feeling that way. It's very creative. It is. Anyway, 